Great tweet right here by UAP Intel. This is a lot of information. You're going to want to listen to all of it. It's a great update on all the things going on in the world in case you missed them. The empire is imploding. Raytheon director dies in plane crash. Classified Pentagon, Ukraine, and Middle East docs have been leaked. Saudi openly divorces USA and ties nuptials with Iran and China. De-dollarization trade agreements signed. Taiwan Strait now controlled by China. Yemen war coming to an end. Israel overwhelmed by Hezbollah and Hamas. Regime change in Pakistan about to be reversed. Syria welcome back into the Arab states. Russia almost done in Bakhmut, nearing victory. And Belarus is getting tactical nukes. France has slowly but surely been getting kicked out of African states. Honduras breaks ties with Taiwan, adopts one China policy. Leaked January 6th video shows Biden government lying to American people. No fucking surprise there. Iran getting SU-35s counter, countering Israeli aggression. Azerbaijan cucking, unable to war over NK due to Iranian resistance. China, domestic chip manufacturing advancing rapidly. American banking system on brink of collapse. UAE considering reducing ties with Israel due to Al-Aqsa violations. As you all know, there's mass protesting in France. Macron struggling, struggling to keep control. Cy Hirsch release another bombshell piece on America's bombing of Nord Stream. Erdogan in Turkey getting more aggressive after US ambassador meets opposition leaders. UK engulfed in cost of living crisis, food and fuel becoming inaccessible to many. Brazil reorienting policy to achieve BRICS dominance. SWIFT system alternative, alternative developed by Russia Iran increasingly being adopted. Russian warship docking in Saudi Arabian ports for the first time in many years indicating Saudi moving towards eastern nations to provide its defenses. Melo in Mexico nationalizing key energy and oil industries despite protests from Washington. This is in the backdrop of increasing anti-American sentiment from Mexico. Malaysia in discussion with China to develop a new Asian monetary fund, an alternative to the neoliberal and much criticized IMF, potentially allowing many countries to escape America's trap. Iran is now enriching uranium to a level of 83.7%, bringing them closer to acquiring nuclear weapons and potentially causing key Israeli allies in the region to withdraw support for an Israeli military attack on Iran. Vassal states such as France begin to speak up against the empire and its blackmail. Macron says Europe has become more independent on the United States in recent years, but it must strengthen its strategic autonomy and not depend on the extra territoriality of the dollar. Argentina, Chile, Bolivia, and Brazil considering the creation of an OPEC for lithium in order to control the market prices and eliminate the role and influence of Western companies in the global lithium market. Now, these are just a few of the things going on in the world. He covered a lot of them, but there are many more. What are your thoughts on all of this? Drop a comment.